guys how are you all doing welcome to our third recorded video in the general revision and today we are going to take a quick look at the vocab of units 4 5 and 6 so without further ado let's take a look at the main vocab in unit 4 and the first one in here is souvenir so souvenirs are the things that you buy to remind you of places you visit like um, like when you go to the pyramids you may buy you know a mini sculpture of sphinx or a mini pyramid so this is a souvenir whenever you look at this um, mini sculpture you will remember the day you spent at the pyramids or so on okay after that we have traffic so traffic um, is the cars that are on the road and we have another word which is traffic jam so whenever the traffic is jammed it's like it's very crowded all the cars are stopped and we are waiting for uh, other cars to start moving this is called traffic jam good after that we have sewage sewage uh, is the waste from people's bodies uh, the sewage which we dump which we get rid of so sewage are um, unhealthy things that we throw away all right what about wildlife wildlife is all the forms of life that are found in the wilderness like animals birds and insects that are wild and live in their natural environment and environment is like the natural habitat is like the place uh, where animals live like in the forest or in the desert and so on okay graze and graze animals are like the animals that eat grass the animals that eat green things like in here we have two cows that are grazing good these two cows are eating grass they are grazing good so the um, the reading passage uh, in unit 4 if you could remember was talking about the pros and cons of tourism the advantages and disadvantages of tourism what is good and what is bad for tourism so please if you have time read it one more time and then uh, take a look at the the worksheet that is sent to you on the website uh, and try to answer it and as usual you will see the model answer the following day all right but let's take a look at these questions really quick a what is someone who visits places on holiday mm -hmm. yes so a tourist is someone who visits uh, places on his or her holiday okay number two all people know him he is everybody knows him so he is very famous good tourists buy what and gifts to take home we have just talked about this when you go to the pyramids you buy souvenirs so tourists buy souvenirs and gifts to take home good number four which people sell things to tourists international people or local people good so local people are the people who live who originally live in the place good like we all live in Sharm el Sheikh for example so we are locals we are the local people of Sharm el Sheikh okay number five tourism can what the local fishing industry remember when we were talking about the bad things about tourism and how it can destroy farms how it can um, end 
the existence of the grazing animals, how it can uh, harm and affect the fishing industry. So, of course, it's not, go it's not going to be spread or dumped, it's going to be destroyed. Tourism can destroy the local fishing industry. Good. There are pools of water everywhere as the what doesn't work well. So what is responsible for dumping the water? The electricity, the telephone or the sewage. Good. So the sewage doesn't work well. So there are pools of water everywhere. Okay. Let's move on to the vocab of unit 5 and if you could remember the this unit was about the story of the princess which was held captured in the castle of the evil uh, duke of doom and um, it was like an adventure good so the first one the first word we have is a warrior a warrior somebody who goes into war so a warrior is like a brave soldier good Wonderful. What about creep? To walk on legs and hands. And also to creep is try to spy on people. Try to creep around. Try to know their secrets without them noticing you. But mainly to creep is to walk on both legs and hands. Like uh, the sloth we have in here. Alright. Furiously, to be furious is to be violent with anger, to be really, really angry, uh, this is when you are furious, alright? Like when I say, the, mm, 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 my dad was furious because I didn't do my homework, for example, alright? What about cape? Like you see in the picture, a cape is a piece of clothing with no sleeves that hangs from your shoulders so Superman he has a cape what about Batman he also has a cape and what else Wonder Woman alright so a cape is like the piece of cloth that hangs from your shoulders alright gag gag is a piece of cloth that is tied around a person's mouth to make him stop speaking so whenever somebody is kidnapped so uh, they gag him to gag somebody is to put a piece of cloth around his mouth or inside his mouth to prevent him from shouting or uh, asking for help all right good now guys let's take a look at these questions and again you will find um, a worksheet on the website with more uh, questions for you to be answered all right the what is the king's daughter so the prince is a daughter no the queen of course not so the princess is the king's daughter wonderful a what is a person who is trained to take part in battles so whose job and profession to go into war yes a warrior wonderful number three a what is a person under a castle is a prison sorry under a castle or a palace mm -hmm. of course it's not a villa not a hut it's a dungeon a dungeon is like a small prison under uh, a big structure like a castle or a palace or a mansion good wonderful Number four, the boy what the drum, so it made a loud noise. So to go like, you know, boom, banging on a drum, banging on the table, banging on the desk. So the boy banged the drum, so it made a loud noise. Wonderful. The guard was sitting in front of a what fire. So, breathing, it's like when you breathe, and breathing like a very cold wind. 
the breeze of the air or blazing a blazing fire a very very bright fire right so the guard was sitting in front of um, a blazing fire number six the wind was very strong and it what around our ears so when the wind goes around and around it makes uh, a very distinctive noise which is whistling all right so the wind was very strong and it whistled around our ears good let's move on to vocab of unit six and the first one we have is letter so please notice the difference between letter and letter so letter with an i is like the garbage the trash all the small pieces of rubbish that have been left on the ground in public places but letter with an e is like the letter that you write to your friend and you send through the mail right a letter good so letter is small pieces of rubbish that have been left on the ground in public places good what about a fountain a fountain guys as you can see is a stream of water that is forced up in the air used for decoration purposes so the water is forced up in the air from a very small hole uh, like the one you see in here good and uh, it's only for decoration to have you know uh, to make that place look good all right smelly smelly is having an unpleasant smell good so this is uh, a smelly shoe yeah what about unhygienic unhygienic not clean in a way that may cause disease so this person uh, he is filled uh, with dirt and there are flies all around him he is unhygienic if you see um, food uh, in the open air with flies and germs and it is you know like disgusting so, so this is unhygienic right so it's not clean in a way that may cause diseases unhygienic good what about a tire well the tire is the thick rubber ring filled with air that is put around the wheels of the car really simple really straightforward so guys this is a tire the tire of the car good um, let's take a look at these questions and number one is there are a lot of parks where we can play safety of course not this is um, this is a noun save this is a verb but we want to describe play to play safely Good? this is an adverb so we describe the verb by an adverb we can play safely good we can uh, write nicely good all right number two uh, what is a stream of water that is forced up through a small hole and of course it is a fountain so guys what is the difference between a lake and a pond well a lake is like a big area of water but a pond is smaller and it also can be manufactured it can be made by people all right number three we what a lot of money when we buy food and clothes so when you buy food you lose money you miss money of course not you spend money we spend a lot of money when we buy food and clothes all right number four rubbish is unpleasant and what for the people living in the town rubbish of course it can bring us diseases so it's unhygienic rubbish as on uh, is unpleasant and unhygienic for the people living in the town number five 
rubbish and litter cause what and disease? They cause danger, tires or germs. Of course, rubbish and litter cause germs and disease. What are people who drive their own cars? Anything that have a motor. Mm -hmm. Yes, a motorist. Wonderful. Very good, guys. So, this has been our video for today. Please, please stay tuned for other videos to revise all um, the, the units that we studied in, in the first term. Uh, that's it for today, guys. I love you all. I miss you all. And hope to see you all again, again really soon. Bye-bye.